sorry, sorry. Oh. Holy fuck. Okay. Hey now. Carl the Madman here. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Jamie. Yeah, Jamie the Entertainer here. Thanks for having me again, Carl. JTE. Good. JTE. JTE. I've been re abbreviating your name. And I like it. I JTE. like it. JTE. So tonight's a bit of a scramble because there's no Cameron. He was going to be here tonight. Things came up. No Chez. He's MIA. Can't get a hold of Chaz. We need to do a wellness check, probably. Most most likely. Yeah, hopefully that's a joke. Yes. And uh, <laughs> Lenny, well, he's washing his pantyhose Look, or something. I his can't dog's remember. balls. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> so it's just Jamie and I. It's a short, small show tonight. That's my camera. That's your camera. If you want to look at that camera. Okay, I'll stare at that one. Mind it, and then that's the, the, the main. And, Perfect. Yeah. I see it. It's like you, me, that one, that one. That makes it nice <laughs> and easy. <laughs> Boo man's grab oh yes man. oh yes we need i was going to show everybody the bfc tournament here oh yes people so, have to actually see that because i was working tonight everything is uh, a bit more of a scramble than usual a bit more of a scramble than you hey kayla we're on the air we're live right now absolutely okay. Bam oh. Hi. baboon man or bamboo bamboo man here they are. This is them without their heads. Okies. We had a tournament. We had an eight warrior tournament during our time off. During our time off, we had an eight person, eight warrior tournament, single elimination. Every week we're going to air one fight. This week's fight is Cameron and Jamie. And uh, yeah, this is them. This is the crazy little guys with their crazy little fucking pokies, which, you, which you'll see more of. You'll see more of those. The they call that the, foreshadowing. Gonna, <laughs> you see their big shield, their shields, and all, that, all this stuff here. And they're like little bamboo guys. Bamboo, not baboon. Not baboon, Daryl. No, It's no. bamboo. Uh, so we got we got that coming up. We got uh, guests We coming up next week. We got Stephen Lee and other members of the band. Yeah, absolutely. The band The Strikes. Uh, we're super excited to come on. And uh, depending on who all shows up, uh, there might be a little bit more music. We'll see. We'll see. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So that's next Monday. Yeah. And then we're going to do a show every two weeks from there on. So next Monday is the 4th. Yeah. And then our next show will be on the 18th. It'll be every two weeks from there out, unless we're doing a special or something. We're going to do a little bit bigger shows, uh, more guests. I need more time to edit. I don't want to rush. That's part of the fun for me is the editing. So every two weeks. So this week, next week, and then every two weeks after that. So this week it's us. Next week it's the strikes, Stephen Lee, and whoever else shows up. And after that, the following on the following one, we got uh, Sophia. Oh, she's gonna cause she's been taking some blacksmithing classes. Oh, awesome! She's gonna come on, and that's also the grilled cheese sandwich episode. Oh yes, the grilled cheese sandwich the grilled episode. Grilled cheese sandwich cook off. Ooh, it's more than just Chaz and I this time. It's anybody who wants to fucking cook their own grilled cheese sandwich. Well, sign um, me up. I'm signing your chef. I'm, <laughs> I'm supplying the bread. I'm going to make homemade bread. That's it. Everybody else has to bring whatever they're bringing to make their grilled cheese sandwich. So that's going to be on the Monday the 18th. Grilled cheese sandwich episode. And that's as far as we've got, as far as uh, uh, scheduling goes. But we're working on some other guests. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we'll have more and more of my movie reviews coming out for uh, throughout every episode. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about Power World, a, a video game. But we'll get into that in a little bit. But. I just figured I wanted to do some. <laughs> I wanted to do some video reviews and talk about some cool stuff and some stuff I really, really don't like. This fucking pal world looks pretty cool. Yeah. Let's 
So my notice today that uh, kind of made me pick my ear up was a new form of t-shirts that are uh, a new brand of t-shirts that are being put out right now. And they are the Robert Picton Smokehouse <laughs> t-shirts. And uh, they are just as tasteless as you think they are. There's two cartoon pictures of, of Picton and his brother. And it says the Picton uh, Smokehouse or something along those lines. And then underneath it says with over 50 Hookery smoked flavors oh, to try. Fucking brutal. So oh, I'm I'm sorry I laugh. I know it's not a good thing to laugh about, but but it, it it's almost too far, and I agree, and there are a lot of people that are that are mad about that, but it's still a little funny. And the worst part about that that I find is when you, they actually went to go and interview these guys and, and ask them. And I don't know if these guys are absolutely assholes or they, they believe what they're doing. Ching, ching. But, but because their answer is, no, we're just trying to bring bring the fact bring the fact up so it doesn't get forgotten. So they pretty much said, just so people never forget. And ching, ching. And, and, and ching, ching. And I think, the, it's not the first time somebody's done that. I remember they were making t-shirts for Ted Bundy. Yeah, yeah. There was oh, Ted, yes. Ted Bundy shirts. Well, the, you, you, can, you can get coffee cups with uh, any killer. Oh, Caitlin's got a question here, Anna. Oh, yes. so I was just going to say, should I move that camera back a tiny bit? Because the camera's not fully in it. Oh, uh, that's my camera. Oh, that's okay. Jamie's Jamie. camera there. How's Jamie's okay, camera? camera? I was just thinking about you getting to editing. And then... No, I was just, I was trying to do it different this week. I wanted one that was sort of more on me, one that okay. was sort of mm -hmm. more on and, that spot. And then and one then kind of central. The live central. Okay, cool. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's uh, how I've been watching uh, Harland Williams. Oh, yeah. The Harland Highway. Oh, I love that and, one. And, uh, you know, I'm taking notes from the professionals. Absolutely. And, uh, he, he likes to do that. He's got one central and then he's got one. And then, and then one, cuts between and those. Then can, yep. And, then, and it, it's great. It's great. Harlan, check out the Harlan Highway if you have one. It's fucking, oh, it's awesome. It's, it's fucking, absolutely it's, awesome. It's fucking great. You know, I remember we were talking about fucking uh, LOL last last one, Laughing Canada. Yes. We yes. weren't talking about that on the show. Oh, we I love that. Yeah. So anybody who hasn't watched it, you should check it out. It's really good. It's on Prime. Last one laughing, Canada. But you know who would be fucking great on that show? And, he, and he's a Canadian? Is Harlan Williams. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Great. He would kill and be like, he's so funny. And in the moment, too. Like, he would he would drive people nuts. So, LOL Canada. It's six hours, ten comedians, stuck in a house. And the last one laughing wins. Uh, it's like they do, like, soccer cards. So... You can see, you can see if you get caught smiling or laughing, you get a yellow card, and if you do it again, you're gone. Yeah, and it's fucking great. It, it, it's, it's fucking great. No, once you start like breaking out, it's like, uh, oh, okay. yeah, it's, it's very strict. I can't remember. I'm not the greatest at names. No, so I'm no. Just starting to remember yours. Right. <laughs> Don't worry, you got a couple of years until you start forgetting them all then. Ah, <laughs> so yeah, you'll I just remember. When I was born. I'm old. Right? You want to talk about old? I was at work tonight, and I was eating some fucking cheesies. You know those fucking Hawkins cheesies? I'm yeah. eating these fucking Hawkins cheesies. These fucking Hawkins cheesies. And they're pretty hard. I'm like fucking eating these fucking Hawkins cheesies. The fucking Hawkins cheesies. I'm like... Like, what the fuck's that? Like, that one's really hard to pull it on. It's a fucking tooth, man. Son of a I bitch. I fucking knocked a fucking tooth out of my fucking mouth. You did? Yeah, I did. <laughs> you didn't say anything about that until just now. Just now, yeah. It doesn't hurt or anything. It just broke right off. I'm like, what the fuck? I spit it on my hand. I'm like, oh, that's a fucking tooth. And I'm like, mm -hmm. holy fuck, that's a fucking tooth. <laughs> the fucking Hawkins cheesies owe me a tooth. Yes, they do. That's a true story. It's, I'm not going to show you because <laughs> today, tonight, just like fucking an hour ago. Just Goddamn like, cheesies. Like first I got a message from Lenny saying he wasn't going to make it and then I fucking lost a tooth. Wow. I'm not going to show everybody because, like, well, because I'm not. No. Yeah, but it's right here. It's right yeah, here. You can believe it. This one right here. <laughs> a new movie that, that's coming out that I'm really excited to see is uh, the new Deadpool movie. The mm -hmm. third one. I'm not sure if you've seen. I haven't seen any of those movies. I'm embarrassed. No. I'm embarrassed to say I haven't seen any of those. No. Movies. Oh God, they are so funny. I, they, they are so. I, I mean, if you're a Ryan Reynolds fan, I do. I am. Yeah. I don't know why I haven't. You, seen you them. totally should because they're 
balls to the wall hilarious. Like I I I laughed the entire time. And I was worried at first because Marvel has bought Sony, which was doing Dead uh Deadpool. It wasn't a Marvel uh he wasn't part of the Marvel universe yet yet. Oh. But then Marvel bought Fox and bought Sony. Or oh, bought yeah. Fox, not Sony. They bought Fox and then they brought and now Deadpool's part of the MCU and I was worried that they were gonna go super uh PG with it and cause cause he's dropping F bombs and murdering people and breaking their necks and oh, yeah, yeah. in the most violent ways and it, it's it's awesome. It, it's awesome. But it looks like they're not gonna uh they're not going that route. And just because of Ryan Reynolds' uh absolute love for Hugh Jackman, they got him to come back and play Wolverine. Oh yeah, right. And, and and he is he was the only reason anybody watched any of those goddamn X-Men movies. And don't lie, you know he's the only reason you watch those movies. <laughs> Now that they have these two together, it's pretty much set out to be like a time travel, time traveling road trip movie with these two fucking hilarious people. So I, I think it's going to be good. So that was something I was really looking forward to. And also in music news, not just my own band, that's coming up. But in music news, I have uh, two of my favorite bands growing up, Bull for My Valentine and Trivium, have both announced uh, that they're going to join together. And do a uh, an American Canadian a uh, North full North North American tour, and it's called the Poison Ascendancy tour, and that was both of their first albums, which I loved. Oh, Ascendancy was actually Trivium second, but I'm not gonna get into that. I love these guys, and they rock so hard, and I absolutely I'm gonna try to get my best to get a ticket to this uh, as soon as the Vancouver date comes up, because you know there's gonna be one. I'm going to try to get myself there. So if anybody out there are fans of these bands, make sure to go check it out. You know who's else is doing a, doing a back, got, got back together? Ooh. Infectious Grooves. Really? Yeah. Wow. They're like with uh, Metallica's and Su Suicidal's bassist. Uh, oh, Robert Trujillo? You know, he's back. Yeah. He, he's back with Mike Muir. That's... Mike <laughs> and they're touring. They're touring I, as Infectious Grooves. I, I would have never expected that to happen. Me neither. Uh, that's pretty new. That was like in the last couple of weeks maybe I like they're posting dates and that's awesome on their uh instagram they're you know yeah they're they're, they're doing it and fucking right well there you go <laughs> i would love to see that that would that would be great that's something i never thought they'd all get back together no and uh that's a band that might actually come to like Benticton or oh absolutely yeah. they probably would but like, suicidal was there so. yeah and they all they're great oh fuck. one of my favorites one of my all-time favorite bands yeah suicidal tendencies Wanna watch a goofy video? Oh fucking every time. There's a, there's a rock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all, all because of that rock. The best shot there was his whole body, the shadow of the his shadow, body, yeah. body was, just flying up. That was pretty awesome. That's honestly <laughs> right there. And <laughs> through the bush, too. Yeah, right? You just see how where it all goes wrong by a single rock. UFC is coming up next. Let's see this. Shall we do this? Is everybody ready? Is everybody no wagering? Right. Nah, go ahead. If you want to wager, go ahead. This is Cambo. Cambo Bigelow versus JTE. And let's let her roll. Let's let the fight go. You gotta pick a number out of the fucking shoe, out of the clog. Okay. Pick a number out of the clog. Oh, it's a real clog, too. <laughs> it's a real fucking clog. What you got? Six. Six! Jamie's here, pick a number. From the clog, a number from the clog. Number from the clog. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Five. Five! 
Cambo, are you ready? I am born ready. <laughs> Jamie, are you ready? Bad dad's always ready. Touch swords. Don't touch my tip. Three, oh, wait, two, oh. one, fight. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, shit. Fight! Oh! oh. <laughs> I stabbed him. Oh, oh, oh shit. Double, oh, no. You're both dead. Oh, I'm bleeding. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. woo -hoo. Yeah. Blood? Let's see the blood. Yeah! <laughs> Jesus <God>. Christ. <laughs> Cameron won. Yeah, I, I thought he got me right before I, I went up. Well, at least your thumb's really? still attached, anyways. <laughs> That was a close fight. Slow mo replay to figure this one out. <laughs> Jamie's bleeding all over the place. Right? Slow mo replay. It was fucking close, man. So close. So close. That was a close fight, my friend. How's the sum? It's pretty good. It's pretty good, but he caught me. It went deep. It went deep. I felt no, it. Look at those fucking things on there. I know. Those are. Those are fucking. Here, Caitlin. Mm -hmm. Stick that in front of the camera so that everybody can see how fucking deadly. And they is. weren't red before the tip. That's just from my blood. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're all better now. You've recovered. I've, I've, I've healed. I healed. It took me a little bit. I had to, you know, go back to training. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm I'm sad I went out in the first round, but uh, I'll be back for the next one. I'll be healed. I'll be stronger. I might have to wear tape on my hands. Power World is a phenomenon in gaming right now, and I'm going to give you three reasons why it is amazing. Pokemon, guns, and forced animal breeding. Wait, that's more than three words. Uh, and I didn't mean forced animal breeding. I meant farming. That's what I mean. That's the third one. No, it is great. Uh, I'm not sure. This is aimed directly at my generation, millennials. Think of us what you want. Fuck you anyways. All right? We have it hard. It is hard. And life is hard. All right? We don't have it that easy, you fuckers. God damn it. And Gen Z, you bastards. All right? One little rat. You Gen Z bastards. We have it just as hard as you. All right? It's going to be worse for you. You should be nice to us. It should be funny to me. I, I know. <laughs> I, you should be nice to us. We're trying to help, but no. You just go, hey, boomers. We're not even close to boomers. We were raised by boomers. Boomer. It's a gen like Gen. Gen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. It is time for the, the goat scream. All I wanted to say is that it's aimed for millennials, and if you grew up loving Pokemon, you grew up loving shooting shit, you're going to love this. And it's just kind of a, you know what, I can't explain it any better than the trailer can. So we're going to play a few bits, and then I'm going to talk about what the hell you just saw. Let's roll. Rolling? Yeah, it's rolling. Look at these cute little animals. Aren't they fuzzy and adorable? <laughs> adorable. Right? I like that. Don't you just want to shoot them? <laughs> and capture them? And force them to breed? That is a part of this game. But it's... It. It's cartoony. It's it's fun. It looks like it should be aimed towards children. And it's it's just got this beautiful imagery, this fun 
It's Pal World. So as you can see, it is a land that is run by these, that's filled with these awesome creatures. And what you get to do as a lone human is you get to capture them, put them in your farm, make them farm for you, and then breed them, and then make them breed alien uh, little hybrids that can do better farming, and then you can take them out, and you get to hunt these things down with guns. And you get the train to, to fly on them, it doesn't get any better. All right. So with these creatures, and and, and I just want to say they give this beautiful look of this in, this enchanting place. But the moment you meet uh, another human character in this, they are the most depressing characters ever. I don't know if they show it here, so I'll just give you like the very first character. You go and you walk and you say they're just sitting by a campfire. Their quote is, and I wrote it here, this world is absolutely awful. I came with a boat, uh, I came with a ship of 3,000 3, people, and after the first hundred died, I stopped counting the corpses. <laughs> <laughs> and that is just a, a regular character sitting by a beach that you just run into. And it doesn't quite match up to what, what, what's being shown here, right? Well, let's keep playing and you'll, we'll see a bit more. Look at them. Oh, they're so scary. Shoot them. Shoot them in the face. <laughs> Look at it. Looks like fun. Looks it, like fun. It absolutely. It like fun. Yeah. It is a uh, Xbox and Microsoft game. I don't know if it's coming out on PlayStation yet. But look, you, you get to travel this world and just shoot these things. Kill animals. Literally. And then you, and you can battle other animals with your animals. Because you capture them in Pokeballs. But for legal reasons, they call them Pal Spears. Because it has to be a little bit different. <laughs> Which, with legal action, I don't know how long this game will be out. Because I'm pretty sure Pokemon are trying to sue their asses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, absolutely. But it's just this battleground. And, and this is just a, one aspect of it. Here's another aspect that I wanted to get into. We could probably throw... Oh, perfect. Throw a pause there, because this is your building your farm. So, so it's a survival game too, just like uh, uh, Minecraft or anything like that. You have to go and you have to get you have to get your wood. <laughs> Phrasing, <laughs> not from the animals. You don't get well. Actually, some different story. Anyways, so you have to go and get your wood by knocking on trees. You get your you get the wood, then you build stuff, and then you start building up your own farm and your own creation. Where you literally hold these things hostage and then force them to farm for you. And they will get depressed. If you don't feed them properly, they will get sad. <laughs> and you know what you can do with them? You know what you can do with your lame animals? You can just kill them and take their meat and feed it to the other ones. <laughs> this is real things you can happen that do happen in this game. Oh my God. And it is a grind to play for one. Like you it takes a while to get going. I just got my machine gun and I've been put 30 hours into the damn thing. Now, make sure to leave a comment by anybody else about how you got your gun in 10 hours and I'm a lazy player because <laughs> the algorithm demands engagement. So please make sure to leave the comments. There you go, yeah. Anyways, so I just figured I would uh, throw that all out there and, and just say, like, it's, it's so fun. It's got all these elements that... And you don't have to play it like an absolute asshole like I do. I will tell you, you can play it fun and cute and all that but what's the goddamn point okay come on if you're a if you grew up like me all you wanted to do was see these pokemon and some of these are just pokemon maybe color swapped i swear to christ mm. yeah. right and and if you, you you just wanted to see them actually murder each other and you do and you get to collect their meat it's great <laughs> <laughs> pokemon is before my time oh yes but this looks fun right Oh, yes, okay. yes, I Continue. think there's a little bit more there. Continue. 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 Yes, the colonization of Power World. And you get the you make assembly lines oh where they make God. they make guns for you on assembly lines. And, oh yeah, and you get to customize your character to all these different things. Mine is a female pink skin thing. I know I can't even say it. it's got like an orc face. And it's great. You can just be whatever you want in this game. And usually it just means being a fucking demon. Because with me, I just want to kill things and 
and conquer. And you can, you can kind of conquer the power world yourself. You get to create multiple bases. And yeah, I think that's that's pretty much the gist of it. I just wanted to keep going over how much fun. And it's still in pre-beta right now, or pre-alpha, whatever it is, when they put out a game that you can pay for and it's not actually finished. How much? Uh, like 30 bucks. Wow. But uh, but if you have Xbox Game Pass or Microsoft Game Pass, it is on there for free, which is a $20 wow. su subscription a month, and you get access to great games. It's the reason I use an Xbox and Xbox, please send me a, if you if anybody from Xbox sees this, please send me a new Xbox because I'm still <laughs> running an Xbox One. Please. Yeah. Nope. But yeah, we can uh, play out a bit. It's I think this is just the ending bits playing out. Talk about how much it's just fun. And, and not only that, you can give your pals weapons so they can run around and shoot shit for you. And, and, and they create them. And you can ride these things, too. <laughs> That's the other part. You can ride these mammoths. And, the, and there's some creatures that just dig you gold just for the hell of it. It's, it's great. Paolo, check it out. Caitlin, buy an Xbox. Right? <laughs> There you go. Power World, check it out. It is a great game. And it is a phenomenon. I think in the in one month, it's gained 15 million, million uh, players, which is unbelievable. Power World. Power World. Power check World. it out. Power World. Power spheres. Power yes, World. yes. They can't even call them Pokeball. Uh, yeah. When I first thought, I, th I thought it was a Pokemon thing. It was just called Power World. Uh, yeah, I saw it. I was just scrolling Facebook or whatever and said, this can't be a real game. Because I saw it, and I was like, there's no way that they have people shooting Pokemon, and they do. So, again, check it out. I don't know Pokemon at all, but if I had just seen a picture of those guys, I would have thought that. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I know that enough to, like, sort of... Because the little creatures that yeah. are kind of elemental things. That, yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that just, like, like, one of them, oh, it's got electricity, cool. Like, I remember when, like, Pokemon first started. Yeah, that, and that that's when I would, that's all I remember. I, I grew up on the Game Boy game and the actual cards, but that's all I really remember of it. I watched a couple of the movies that were awful. Uh, they made me cry. Animated movies should not make people cry, but I guess I didn't watch <laughs> enough anime either. Because anime makes you cry. And I'm a man. But I'm a millennial, and I'll say that. <laughs> Fucking anime. Anyways. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's that's like, me crying in the shower. The goat, the goat has spoken. <laughs> Goat. Check out this first. I love it. I can't even remember what the fuck. Oh, I think this is where the guy hits himself with this one. I haven't made fire. Oh! I don't. Oh! Did you get me? It was a lie! It was a lie! It was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Happy Hot Dog Man. It brings ordinary hot dogs to life, making lunchtime more fun. Just put your hot dog into the Happy Hot Dog Man and close the lids. The Happy Hot Dog Man makes a happy imprint on your hot dog. Now you're ready to cook it into a fun Happy Hot Dog Man figure that can be decorated and eaten. It's like a toy you can eat. Classic dogs, beef dogs, turkey dogs, veggie dogs. The Happy Hot Dog Man does them all. You can make them into little like girls or boys and decorate them in clothes and everything. Add ketchup, mustard, relish, cheese. When you find me, why am I thinking of search? Where do I find these? Yeah, I love it. Like I don't know where you find these true. Your family's food from boring. This is a real thing. I like. This is a real thing. Yeah. We're not the best, and both. Which one is the wiener? We all end up acting like kids at dinner. Make your dinner a wiener with the happy hot dog man. A wiener. A wiener. I think that's it. Wow. This is not sponsored by the hot dog wiener man or whatever. No, no. no. <laughs>
but if you want to, right? Please I'll reach out to you. us. Surge, <laughs> actually, Surge. That's yes, like, uh, Surge needs a fucking. Right? What the fuck are they calling him? Happy yeah. hot dog oh, man. Oh, happy hot. I think Surge is the happy hot dog man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, recap. Next week, next Monday night, live. We've got Stephen Lee, Jamie, of course, the Strikes, whoever else is here. That'll be fun. That'll be a big show. Yeah, that'll be a big show. That'll. That's going to be a big show. Big yeah, show. it'll be a lot of fun. Big we'll show. And uh, we'll be self-promoting a lot of our stuff. So please come check it out. And we might have, uh, if we're allowed to discuss it, we might have some big news for an upcoming show. No, I know. Yeah. Oh. Cool. And then two weeks after that, we got Sophie, the blacksmith, and the cheese, grilled cheese sandwich. Grilled cheese off? The grilled cheese off. <laughs> the grilled cheese sandwich cook off. There you go. And yes. that's you're a judge. Carl said I couldn't participate because I had to be a judge. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and I, we're the way we're gonna not unlike the crepe show, we're gonna have to let somebody be cooking while we're doing the show and sort and of rotate, rotate, sort of rotate through. That's the only way it's gonna work. Oh, absolutely. At this point, there's like four or five or six people that want to cook grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh well, well then then it's perfect. The person can come on, mm -hmm. discuss their thing. You can, you can take over this seat. I yeah. Know. Okay, it'll be perfect. And uh, yeah, so that's that's it. That's the update. Welcome to season two. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for coming back, everyone. Uh, don't forget to hit that that like button and that notification bell so you can make sure to hear everything that's up and coming. And uh, yeah, make sure to smash that shit. Love you guys. I Thanks need, for coming out. I need a bell. I know, right? I got a goat. All right, hit woman, that, hit that oh, goat. You know, I was. When I had to get a prosthetic for my uh, my bag when I when I lost my one testicle, I was considering <laughs> getting pardon pardon everybody, but I was considering getting a bell because I just thought it would be funny. Ding 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 ding. Anyways, that and glow in the dark. That was an actual one. That is a thing. All right, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I'm Carl the Madman for Jamie the Entertainer, Caitlin, Valkyrie, and the dog, Violet. Oh, oh. See you next next week. See you week. next week. Oh, beauty, beauty.